Ink Ribbon. Games are expensive, but do we know exactly how much went into each game's development and marketing that set that price tag? Today on Ink Ribbon, we're going to look at some games that had some surprisingly high budgets. I'm excluding games that you'd expect to have a high budget, such as GTA V and Star Wars, and instead focusing on the games that took a leap of financial faith. Some made it, some flopped, but either way, here are 10 games with surprisingly high budgets. Let's get started. Number 10. Destiny. Starting off this list is Destiny. Considered by some to be the most expensive video game ever produced, Destiny comes into the finish line between $350 and $500 million. Yes, half a billion dollars was pumped into this game to create a new franchise. As we've learned in history, money doesn't always guarantee success, and that was almost the case for Destiny, but at the end of the day, the game was able to recoup its profits by selling over 400,000 copies. The sequel didn't do as hot, but I'm sure it still made them a good bit of money. Number 9 Enter the Matrix In the early 2000s, the Matrix franchise was the hottest thing out there, and after spanning three movies and an animated anthology series, they decided to make Enter the Matrix. The budget for this was reportedly $67 million. To put this into perspective, the budget for the first Matrix movie was $63 million. This was not only more than the first movie, but also more than half the budget of the movie it was spun off from. By 2006, the game had sold only 1.9 million units and earned just under $60 million in revenue, as well as receiving lukewarm reviews. And that's why there was never a sequel, I guess. Number 8 Deadpool Three years before we got the Deadpool movie, we got the video game. At the time, it was one of the most expensive games ever made, with a budget of $100 million. This is interesting considering the movie had a budget of almost half that and made significantly more money. Maybe they should have waited until the movie came out before making the game. Number 7 Disney Infinity Like Destiny, a lot of companies strive to create franchises that will reel in gamers and make a buttload of money. Disney, surprising absolutely no one, did exactly that with Disney Infinity, with a budget of over $100 million. Using an amiibo-like aesthetic, the development of the game also went into merchandise and figures to use for the game, which ranged from classic Disney characters to the newly acquired Star Wars and Marvel characters. In 2016, Disney finally killed the game and the figures, even though they had made over half a billion dollars in profits and ranked number one in their genre. Scrapping that game meant two years worth of unannounced content was scrapped and the figure's values plummeted. This is probably the only game on the list that was cancelled despite being profitable. Number 6 APB All Points Bulletin With the success of Grand Theft Auto, there have been a handful of imitators trying to get a piece of the pie. APB All Points Bulletin decided to try to have about three slices of that pie, spending a budget of $100 million to make a game that tried to be the next GTA clone and development started as far back as 2005. After about five years, the game was released to mixed reviews. This was made worse when the developer attempted to ban negative reviews of the game. The servers were shut down a few months later and the game moved to a free-to-play model. Ouch. Number 5 Pokemon Red and Blue In 1996, we all had Pokemania. Pokemon was everywhere, and as you probably know, it hasn't really stopped. Part of this is because of the amount of cash Nintendo drops on the marketing of Pokemon. With Game Boy graphics, surely development didn't cost that much, right? Mm, probably not. While the game itself doesn't have any budget numbers, the marketing exceeded $50 million for a Game Boy game. At the time, it was unheard of to spend this much money promoting a video game, but combined with the trading cards, cartoon series, and other merchandising, they obviously had a clear plan to make Pokemon stick. And I'd say they did a pretty good job of that. Number 4 E.T. In the 80s, video games were still young and Atari reigned supreme. They wanted to get the rights to E.T. in order to make an action game, something that had never been done before, and it came with a hefty price tag between $20 and $25 million. 
The actual development of E.T. was extremely rushed in order to meet the holiday deadline in time for Christmas and went on to become one of the best-selling Atari titles, selling over 1.5 million units. Whether or not people like the game is a discussion for a different day, but it is crazy to know how much it costs to make. Number 3 Final Fantasy VII Development for Final Fantasy VII actually began in 1994 with plans to release the game on the Super Nintendo. After failing to strike a deal with Nintendo and landing on the PlayStation, Squaresoft knew that this game had to be big. The problem they faced is this was their first ever venture into 3D game making and that in turn inflated the budget. A staff of over 100 people brought the budget to about 80 million dollars, followed by a very large promotional campaign. I think it's safe to say that things worked out pretty well in the end though. Number 2 Too Human One of the most infamous games for being in development hell, Too Human took 10 years to make. This game really did go through hell. This is indirectly why the game ended up costing so much. First developed by Silicon Knights in 1999 with plans to release on the original PlayStation, the game was delayed and eventually halted when Nintendo announced the exclusive partnership with Silicon Knights, which then moved the game to the GameCube. During this time they developed the mega horror hit Eternal Darkness, as well as Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, while putting Two Human on the back burner. Let's just fast forward to 2008, when the game came out to lukewarm reviews on the Xbox 360 and cost them a cool $100 million. Ouch. Number 1 Shenmue The infamously ambitious Dreamcast game Shenmue was originally an RPG based on the fighting game Virtua Fighter, but was changed when it was shifted for the Dreamcast development. At the time, $70 million was unheard of for a game budget, making it the most expensive game at that time, though the number has been disputed. Despite getting great reviews and gaining a cult following, it was pretty much impossible for Shenmue to make a profit, which is why I put it at number one. In order for Shenmue to have made a profit, every single Dreamcast owner would have had to buy the game twice. And the craziest thing is, they developed the game knowing this. And that's it for this video. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and share this to all your gamer friends. I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon.